Hey, it's Friday, which means it's time for a, another painting video. We're going back into Warlord Games. Judge Dread 2000 AD miniature game, I Am The Law. And today we are going to paint this model. Oh, there we go. It is the demo bot. A massive model. Um, it's just... That's a Space Marine Scout, which most people will know for the scale. But he is massive! Next to Dirty Frank, who's coming up in a video soon. Look. Dirty Frank is chest height. That's crazy. Anyway, wonderful model. Great sculpt. Had a little accident with this arm, which we'll go over in the video. But yeah, we're going to go with... The classic scheme that came that 2000 AD came up with. Let's see if we can get this in the screen. Whoop, whoop. Look at that. Bull and chain, mace, bright yellow. Love it. Uh, let's get into the video. Let's get going. Remember to like, subscribe, all that great jazzy stuff, and I will see you on the other side. Right, here we are. We've got black primer on it, and I'm just trying to do a Zenith highlight using some grey primer. Um, as I'm doing this, I decide it's a little bit too dark for what I want, as the model is going to be yellow. So it definitely needs to be picked up a little bit more than what this has given me. So I hit it with some white primer, unsurprisingly. And as you can see, I still have a ball and chain. This is all going to change in a minute. Um, stupidly, after doing this highlight, I decided to walk away from the station to let it dry. It was at this point that my two-year-old son came in and wanted to play with the big robot. <laughs> and it uh, doesn't take a, a lot to work out what happened next. Also take this point to hit up the word demo bot on the front with a bit more strong white. And this is where I walk away from my desk for a minute and my child destroys it. But here you can see I've gone back over, I've fixed all the chips that were on it, I've given it a harder hit of the uh, the white because I really want the yellow to pop. I've got rid of the chain, <laughs> uh, had to fix the ball and the, the mace part. So it's now stuck to his arm, looks like he's punching. I used some flayed one flesh to just box in the whole panels and everything. And then I just cover it in contrast Iaden yellow. Tried to dodge the uh, the demo bot word as best as possible. As you can see, it doesn't look pretty, but I'm finding this type of over the top under highlighting works really well with um, contrast paints. Because you have that super harsh black grey tones that the Zenith highlighting has left behind on the dark sections. But then where I've hit it with the flayed one flesh to really brighten up sections, the yellow is going to pop a lot more. So as you can see the inside leg I left with pretty much a black primer with the grey Zenith highlight just so that it's really dark under there. It gives it a false sense of shade. Just makes it pop a bit more in my opinion. Hopefully you agree. But yeah, I just completely coat the model. Army paint a regiment brush that you'd have seen in the last review of their paint set. I'll drop a link below. It's a great brush, just gets the paint on, completely cover it, getting all the nooks and crannies, try and hide all the white as best as possible, and then I let it dry. Look at that, it's already looking pretty much how I uh, finished the model. Up next came some silver for the bull. Uh, I just have lead belcher. I'm not very fancy. Not a contrast paint, but just slapping it on as a dry brush and hit up the drill piece in one hand and then the uh, the mace on the other hand. Very quick, very dirty. This isn't an exciting stage, but it helps just make those sections pop. The lights start failing on me, so I'm just clicking on a few extra lights, and then we get Averland's Sunset. 
And this is quite a muted yellow. And I use it to highlight the model. So once again, a little dry brushing, very quick, and then flash gets on top, just to help pop key sections like the face. I wanted to stand out a bit more, his belly plate, because it's such a large section. The upper part, the legs, the arms, the back plate. Anywhere that I feel the, the light would hit. And that I just want to pop a bit more. At this stage, he is really yellow. Which is fine for a robot. He is meant to be bright and stand out, health and safety and all that jazz on the building site. But he is a robot. So I wanted certain areas to stand out as slightly different color. So I decided initially I was going to go with green eyes, but I went back to the original artwork and saw they had red eyes. I'm a bit of a fan of Battlestar Galactica, so I kind of like the... The one straight line eye that they, those droids have. So I went with that. I also picked out some cabling in its belly section. Then we go back to the flayed one flesh. I just give it another dry brushing. This time, very quick, as you can see. I'm using a dry brush out of the Army Painter set. This is just picking up those edges, just giving it a final highlight that seems realistic with the color. And then Nasdreg Yellow Contrast Paint, just to pick out some armor joints. It's a slightly darker yellow than um, the Iaden. So I go in all the ball joints, pick out like uh, elbow joints, any part mechanical that I feel I just want a different color. Pick out parts on the power plant and of course those massive shoulder pads that it has. What this does, it doesn't stray too far from the color palette that I want, but it gave it a darker yellow in certain areas. Just adds some key points of interest. Like this is a big model, it has lots of flat panels. Um, so any way you can add a little spark of interest I feel helps. And then I go back with flayed one flesh, pick out its teeth. I don't know why I decided to go with a bone color for his teeth. I'm not even sure why he has teeth. These things don't eat the rubble, but working on the base. A pretty much dollar store gray paint, dry brushed, nice and heavy. I tried to keep the bases as simple as possible, usually just straight up gray. I'm building an urban base that actually has... Um, like a slab look about it, so sanded grey bases don't really fit the scheme, but I like the simplicity of the base. Doesn't detract from the actual model itself. Give it another dry brush because I want some of the highlights to really pop on this. I don't want them hiding. And then some earth shade, this is going on the base and in the joints. Just to dirty up the model a little bit. This is why I gave it that extra highlight because I knew this shade can really knock back a color if uh, if you're not careful. And I've been not careful way too many times that I've now learned my lesson. So I go probably one highlight more than I would normally, just so that I can knock it back with the wash, and then I cover the base in the wash as well. He does have a big base, so I'm thinking I can add some details on this one. But yeah, there you go. Look at that. So whilst we look at the final model, I thought I'd go over the rules. So they have a notoriety of nine, which is less or on par to a cadet judge, I believe. So they're not the scariest of robots out there. Move six, shoot one, fight two, evade zero. zero. So very easy to shoot. Resist six, so very hard to take damage, and a low cool of three. Armed with a demolition hammer, three inch range, five plus modifier, no special rules, one handed. The power drill is one inch, plus two modifier, has piercing rending, so can go through armor pretty easily. 
and a rivet gun, which is underneath the drill there. Six inch range, plus two to shoot, long range, 12 inch, minus two, power five, aim to fire only. You're rarely gonna use the rivet gun. I could see maybe there's a scenario where it would work, but I you'd just charge these guys in and smash face, to be honest. Uh, Ponderous, can never perform a sprint double action. Additionally, when performing a charge double action, Roll a 2d6 and add the lowest dice, so they're just slow. Uh, they're never marked with moving fast marker, and they ignore difficult terrain, which is great. Uh, robots can only ever generate normal action chips, never a star chip, and they're also unaffected by psi skills. So yeah, great model. I really enjoyed painting this one. Had a lot of fun with it. Sad that the chain broke, but good excuse to buy another kit. Hey Warlord Games, if you could sell these models as a single piece rather than in a box set, I would love that. I would happily buy a few more droid bots and make uh, the heavy metal kids from the robot wars. But yeah, I hope you've enjoyed this video. I hope uh, you'll uh, give me a like, give me a subscribe, come back for the next video, which is hopefully a Dirty Frank or maybe an Elder Guardian scheme. And yeah, until then. Have a great week.